Acne vulgaris, commonly known as acne, is a chronic inflammatory skin condition that affects the pilosebaceous units or the hair follicles and sebaceous glands of the skin. It is one of the most common terminological conditions, especially among adolescents and young adults, but can affect individuals of any age. Acne has a multifactorial etiology. Let's discuss them one by one. Excess sebum production. Overproduction of sebum by the sebaceous glands can block pores, leading to the formation of cumdowns, also referred to as blackheads and whiteheads. Bacterial infection. The bacterium Propionobacterium agnans plays a significant role in the development of inflammatory acne. It grows in obstructed pores, leading to inflammation and formation of papules, pustules, and nodules. Hormonal changes. Fluctuating hormonal levels, especially during puberty, menstruation, pregnancy, and menopause, can increase the formation of sebum, which can lead to acne. Several factors can increase the risk of developing acne vulgaris. It is important to note that these risk factors may vary from person to person, and they often involve a combination of genetic, hormonal, environmental, and lifestyle factors. Some of them include the following. Genetics and family history of acne. Certain medications, including corticosteroids, hormonal contraceptives, and lithium. Cosmetic products. Dietary factors. Some foods may also increase the severity of acne, including refined grains and sugars, dairy products, fast foods and processed junk foods, chocolate, and whey protein. Emotional stress. Stress can worsen acne through various hormonal changes that increase sebum production and inflammation. Environmental factors. Exposure to various pollutants and humidity can increase the risk of acne. Friction and pressure. Constant rubbing or friction on the skin, such as wearing tight cloths and backpacks can trigger acne. And finally, personal habits. Poor skincare, such as infrequent cleansing, excessive scrubbing, or using harsh skincare products can disrupt the natural barrier of the skin and contribute to acne. Signs and symptoms of acne can be varied in severity and type. Most common signs and symptoms include the following. Comedones. Comedones are non-inflammatory lesions that result from clogged hair follicles. There are two types of comedones. Blackheads, or open comedones, are small dark spots on the skin, resulting from oxidation of sebum and keratin within the follicle. Whiteheads, or closed comedones, are small, skin-colored bumps under the skin, resulting from complete blockage of the follicle pore. Papules, which are tiny, raise lesions on the skin which are palpable. They may be tender to touch. Pustules, which are inflamed lesions filled with pus. They appear as small red bumps with a white or yellow center. Nodules, which are large, painful, solid lesions that develop deep within the skin. They may feel firm to touch and can persist for weeks or months. Cysts. Cysts are larger, pus-filled lesions that are deep within the skin. They can cause significant pain and scarring. Inflammation. Acne lesions are often accompanied by redness and swelling due to inflammation in the affected area. Scarring. In severe cases, or when acne lesions are repeatedly picked or squeezed, scarring may occur. Scarring can significantly affect the appearance of a person. Hyperpigmentation. When acne lesions heal, they leave behind dark spots on the affected skin, which is known as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Oily skin. Excessive oiliness of the skin is often associated with acne vulgaris. This is due to the increased production of sebum from sebaceous glands. The treatment of acne is aimed at reducing sebum production and inflammation, unclogging pores, and eliminating acne-causing bacteria. Your healthcare provider will decide the exact mode of treatment depending on the severity of acne, your preference, presence of complications, and other comorbidities. Topical treatments include the following. Retinoids, such as tretinoin, adapalene, and tazarotene, which help prevent formation of new comedones, promote shedding of dead skin, and reduce inflammation. Benzoyl peroxide, which has antibacterial properties. Topical antibiotics, such as clindamycin and erythromycin. Azelaic acid, which has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Salicylic acid, which helps unclog pores by removing dead skin cells. Oral medications include the following. Oral antibiotics, such as doxycycline, minocycline, and tetracycline. 
oral contraceptives containing estrogen and progestin, anti-androgen medications, Isotretinoin, a potent oral retinoid, is reserved for severe, nodular acne or acne that has not responded to other treatments. Procedural treatments include the following. Extraction, chemical peels, and laser therapy. In addition to these treatments, proper skin care is also important in acne management. This includes gentle cleansing with non-comedogenic cleansers, moisturizing with oil-free or non-comedogenic products, and using sunscreen daily. Moreover, lifestyle modifications such as stress management, dietary modifications, maintaining good personal hygiene, and avoiding other exacerbating factors can help improve acne control.